Hello and welcome to my teaching studio down here at Truford Golf Centre in Warrington. I'm Jed Walters and today I'm going to see if you can practice your bunker shots without actually being in a bunker. Let's go and take a look. So, can we practice our bunker shots without actually being in a bunker? Um, it's one of those things where a question I wanted to answer and test out really because I see so many poor bunker players. And the biggest problem I see from bunker players is the inability to hit the ground or the sand in the same spot on a consistent basis. I mean, out on the fairway, I see golfers hitting the ball two and three inches fat. In the bunker, I can see eight, nine, 10 inches fat. And so it really, really puzzles me as to why there's such a big disparity. And I think the fact that a lot of facilities don't have anywhere to practice, there are so few practice bunkers in the UK, it is quite scary. And it's a key, key skill that can help save you shots um, on your scores. So. This is the best way I think you can practice your bunker play whilst you're at the driving range. You notice I have a piece of chalk in my hand and all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line on the mat here. So there is a nice big white line. Now if we imagine we were going to be playing a bunker shot from that point of view there the key to the bunker shot is being able to get the club to enter the sand using the bounce, not the leading edge. So at the driving range, if we can draw a line with some chalk on the ground, practice hitting the line, practice getting the club to enter the ground or the sand at the same point all the time. So <clears throat> I've drawn this line here. So I'm gonna start so halfway down this line and then I'm gonna work my way towards the camera so I'm going to play the line in my sort of normal position, if you like, sort of a few inches inside my left heel. I'm going to do my normal bunker thing. So I'm going to just open the face a little tiny bit. I'm going to lower my hands. It's going to bring the face back towards the, uh, the target, if you like, which is the mirror on this side here. And then I'm going to just pressure a little on my lead side. And I'm going to make a swing. I'm just going to try and hit this chalk line. Okay, and again, so just making the same swing, try and get the club to go through the chalk line. Now I'm gonna nudge forward a little bit, and I'm gonna work my way towards the camera along the line, just practicing hitting the chalk line. Just nudge myself bit by bit forward. Because if we can get good at consistently contacting the ground at the same point, then if you look at it, when you come to your bunker play, when you get on the golf course and you get in the bunker, you know exactly your routine, you know your feeling, and more importantly, you know that the task isn't to try and scoop the ball out of the bunker, but it's all about getting the club to enter the sand in the point that you need it to. If we have that point two inches behind the ball, then we've got a two inch line, which we've practiced with, where the ball would be there, and we've just got to commit to it. But I promise you, if you take some chalk to the range and practice this, how long is that taking me? A minute, a minute and a half? That is gonna help you improve your bunker play, and more importantly, it's gonna save you a ton of shots out on a golf course. As always, thanks for watching. If this is helping you with your bunker play or it's something that you are going to go out and try at the range, I want you to post your comments in the box below and let me know your thoughts as always. If you enjoyed the video, there's two things that I need you to do as always. Number one is to click the like button. Number two, if you haven't posted your comments, stick it in the box below. And then also subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Hit the little bell notification so you know when the next video is due to land. And I'll see you guys again in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.